If you have a moderate swing speed and maybe struggle to get that ball into the air with your fairy wood or hybrid, check out the TSI-1 from Titleist. Hey golfers, Drew Mahold and Thomas Campbell here from Second Swing. We've got the Titleist TSI-1 fairy wood and hybrid with us today. We're going to test them out, give you guys the breakdown on the performance benefits of putting uh, these clubs into your bag. So Thomas, TSI-1, lightweight design, help for those um, golfers with a moderate swing speed. Get that ball into the air and down the fairway and at your target. So uh, quickly before we get into some testing, um, what do you see out of these clubs and what are the key benefits? Yeah, the key benefit is that it is extremely light and also extremely forgiving. So it's designed to launch the ball in the air for those players that do need a little extra help. Maybe don't swing the club quite as fast as other golfers. Mm -hmm. And of course, there's a wide range of lofts available. We'll talk about those, but you can play the fairway up to 23 degrees of loft and the hybrid with adjustable hosels at actually up to 31 degrees of loft. So lots of loft options for you in the TSI hybrid and fairy wood. Thomas, uh, let's hit some shots maybe and gather some feedback. Let's do it. Okay, Thomas, four shots right away with TSI 1 fairway wood off the deck there. Um, give me your first impressions uh, with you know what the club head looks like and then what you notice on the performance. Yeah, I was swinging about 80 miles an hour when I'm going to be swinging less speed. Anytime you have less speed, you need loft to get the ball in the air. So this is the three wood. You'll notice that I was only hitting at 35 to 45 feet in the air. Mm -hmm. It's because loft. So we will also test this off the tee as well because Hitting off the tee is also a great option for those golfers that need a little extra help to get the ball in the air because the fairy wood has more loft on it. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it was hot. I mean, if we take a look at this last shot, only had 80 mile an hour club speed, but that smash factor at 1.50, very, very good. So the fairy wood is hot, it's extremely light, very, very easy to hit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's ultimate goal, right? Especially fairy woods and hybrids seems like the kind of the, one of those tricky spots in the bag for golfers with moderate swing speeds. Get that ball high enough in the air where it can chase out the distance that a golfer can ultimately get, right? Maximum potential distance. So um, now we can get to those tee shots here that you talked about. Because like you said, for those golfers that would be playing this, sometimes maybe the driver at, you know, if it's a 10 degree driver, for example, they don't have the speed to get that in the air sometimes, or their, their swing path, swing uh, attack angle is a little different. So with the three wood, that extra loft, get that ball in the air. Well, let's try it off the tee. Was a little low on the face. Pretty good though. Very interesting, Thomas. So you know, you noted that last one there may be low on the face. Um, still a solid performance from the club there. Maybe, I mean, as with any club, right, a little bit of an increase in spin, but not much. And the performance, I mean, it still is out there. Now four shots off the tee, and we've got the numbers up, um, so we can kind of take a look at those, noticing the difference. But I, the TSI one three wood off a tee seems like a really good replacement for someone in this range, even for like a driver even. Yeah, it would be a good opportunity there for a player that needs a little extra loft. With a 12 degree driver from Titleist, you can go up to 13 and a half. That's as high as you can go. If you need a little extra loft on the driver, especially maybe if your attack angle is down or you're lacking club speed, a three wood's not a bad option. So this is really kind of interesting fitting insight. Just to you'll notice that my club speed was the exact same shot. Uh, you will notice that my club speed was the exact same when we were hitting off the tee and off the ground, but notice what happened to the launch angle. The launch angle went from 11.5 to 14.7. My height went from 41 to 70, so almost, almost double there just because the ball was launching a little higher. And then the carry distance was quite significantly further, and we're talking 20 yards further with regards to carry distance. Mm -hmm. and we all know carry distance is important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And we also, uh, one thing I'm also noticing too is the total distance, while five yards further off the tee, but you're not, you know, you are seeing when you hit it off the ground that rollout as well. And to get the distance someone would need, um, you know, maybe attacking a, a green in regulation, for example. So we've talked about the look a little bit, but what did you, what does that look like to you at address? Is it, I would imagine it's kind of a larger footprint, something that's inviting for uh, a golfer that might play this club. I mean, it doesn't look like it's the largest fairway wood that I've ever looked at, but it is a little bit larger. I definitely can notice weight, once again, is pushed to the back. You can kind of see how you got that, that weight mm -hmm. uh, pushed all the way back there. Um, it's just so easy to hit. It just feels so forgiving, easy to hit, very, mm -hmm. very light. Yet you find the middle of the club face, it's just going to go. Yeah, absolutely. Well, 
we've got the fairy wood here, and we can go to the hybrid now. We can see how that performs. Uh, I would imagine similar characteristics, of course, but um, we can test out on Trackman here. Sounds good. All right, four shots, Thomas, TSI-1 hybrid. That is the 20 degree four hybrid. Uh, so interesting to note there, and then we can kind of bring up the map here. Um, all very straight, and I noticed the ball flights too, there wasn't any wiggle there. It was mostly just a dead straight line, which is, again, exactly what you want out of this club. Yeah, if you were going to bring up the numbers, shots one and shot four with, uh, the, with the hybrid when I hit the first shot and the last shot, my ball speed probably dropped a little bit. I feel like I didn't quite catch them perfect, but if you look at the total distance, you look at the height, that's where forgiveness is mm -hmm. at. That's why this club is such an important club to play. Lighter, but very, very forgiving. Hybrid, we all know a hybrid's gonna be more forgiving than a long iron's gonna be. Mm -hmm. And that's a great example right there. If you take a look at the first shot right there, you'll notice my ball speed was a little bit lower, spin was a little higher, but you'll notice the carry and total distance was very, very similar across the board. Yep. That's what stood out to me. Yep, I mean, you ultimately wanna get this, the ball off the ground enough uh, out of these clubs, even if you don't maybe catch it in the middle of the face or don't hit it perfect. And at least this is an example here where Thomas missed a, missed a little bit um, with this kind of first shot with the TSI-1. Actually ended up being the highest ball flight uh, in terms of peak height. So interesting to note there that you know, you're gonna get the performance out of it. Uh, maybe if you hit it kind of not exactly in the center, but kind of all around the face. Yeah, that really impressed me. I was, it's just light, easy to hit. For golfers that need a little bit of help with club speed, the Odilla Ascent golf shaft is very, very light. So stock with the hybrid, we're talking this regular hybrid shaft, mm -hmm. it was 50 grams. So it's very, very light. It's gonna help generate some more club speed, but ultimately get the ball to get in the air and spin a little bit more and fly a little higher. There are four different lofts available, um, you know, anywhere ranging from 20 degrees, you know, all the way up to 29 degrees. So um, you could put multiple in the bag if that fits, but I think the, the end conclusion here is TSI-1 hybrids, easy to launch, easy to hit. Uh, great performance, uh, and you're going to hit it right at your target. So uh, golfers that are interested in the TSI-1 Hybrid or the TSI-1 Fairway Wood uh, can stop in and get fit like a pro at one of our second swing stores or contact our online fitting and support team, get these in the bag, uh, hit the ball farther and straighter and uh, more accurately at your target. So Thomas, thank you for hitting the shots and breaking everything down for us. Not a problem.